Hi, I'm Evan with the Crafty Cask here with you for National Cocktail Day. And uh, big surprise, we're going to be making a cocktail. And um, the cocktail that we're going to be making is a cocktail called the Left Bank. Uh, it's one that I've enjoyed for uh, many years. Um, I think that the first time it came to my attention was probably sometime, I want to say in like the late 2000s, maybe 2010, uh, 2009, somewhere in that neighborhood. And it's one that I feel like it has a, a really fun uh, complexity where it's very spirit forward, but it has acidity. So it um, gives me like a, I guess a little bit of a reminiscence to something that's more along the lines of like a, of a sour. Um, and uh, I think you'll really like it. It's a fantastic cocktail. Um, Left Bank refers to Bordeaux and one of the fun kind of variables in this cocktail is the inclusion of wine. Um, so Sauvignon Blanc is the wine that we're going to be using to make this. And uh, that's one of the two white varietals that you find being grown in Bordeaux. Uh, not necessarily just on the left bank uh, in uh, in Burgundy, or I'm sorry, in Bordeaux, but um, kind of a fun twist. You don't really see wine being used in a lot of cocktails. Um, and so let's just uh, let's dive in here. Um, we're going to start off, well, let's go ahead and crack open the Sauvignon Blanc. Um, we're going to use a half an ounce of the Sauvignon Blanc. Um, <clears throat> And then the Sauvignon Blanc is going to be complemented with a little bit of an elderflower liqueur uh, called St. Elder. Um, we do a lot of corporate events and uh, we've got a bunch of these fun little minis laying around the house and we really like St. Elder so I just pulled one of these uh, to use to make this cocktail for you today since waste not want not. And the elderflower component of this really brings this kind of bright floral levity to it. Uh, the Sauvignon Blanc lends a lot of uh, acidity, and, and that was what I was saying, like it kind of is reminiscent of, of a sour in some ways um, because of the acidity that Sauvignon Blanc has. And then last but not least, uh, this Silent Pool Gin. Um, you're going to do two ounces of that. So again, it's a half an ounce of the Sauvignon Blanc, a half an ounce of the St. Elder, and then two ounces of gin. Um, this gin is one that is not particularly juniper forward, uh, which is something that Suzanne really likes, which is part of the reason why I'm using it. Um, something else that I'm doing that's kind of non-standard here is that I'm going to be uh, shaking this cocktail which would be, I guess, not generally what would be advised for a cocktail that is primarily spirits without the inclusion of any juices. Um, but partially because Suzanne likes her martinis shaken and partially because with the uh, Sauvignon Blanc kind of acting as a spirit, or I'm sorry, as a, as a citrus because of that acidity, um, getting a little bit of like frothiness almost from shaking uh, does tend to brighten this cocktail up a little bit more um, and it really kind of defies a lot of uh, your expectations from what you see in the glass being a clear spirit in a martini glass to what you taste um, and I'm always about you know defying expectations breaking people's necks uh, but give it a good point of shakes smile while you do it A good firm hit on the side of the shaker will uh, usually release it and allow you to kind of pull the top off there. And once you've strained it out into your ready and waiting martini glass, uh, last step there is take a lime and uh, pull off a about a thumb sized piece of zest, uh, width and thickness, and then just kind of gently squeeze it away from you 
And if you look closely, you'll see the oils and the lime peel express into the glass. You don't want to do a lot. Um, just a simple squeeze is sufficient. Um, but this classic riff on a martini, you know, instead of having vermouth, substituting just dry, you know, still wine and uh, the St. Elder uh, cordial in place of, um, you know, your, your dry vermouth, really makes for something that is complex and refreshing, um, compelling and, and really quite uh, punchy too. It's, you know, it's still all spirit. So, um, well, I guess the wine isn't spirit, but anyway, um, cheers on National Cocktail Day from the Crafty Cask. Wait, I heard you saying you were doing all these special things for oh, me. Oh, you want some yes. of this? Wait, you take a sip first. You just, uh, you made it. My own personal personal mixologist and bartender. I'm such a lucky, oh, you're not lucky gonna like lady. It. I'm not gonna like it. You no, want it back? Yeah. I'm gonna hate it. No, give it to me. Yeah. Mm. That lime with the Sauvignon Blanc, I feel like is so fun. Yeah. Like it just like all comes together. And so if you like martinis, a left bank is a really, really fun riff on a martini that Evan introduced me to and I love now as well. So cheers from the Crafty Cask on National Cocktail Day. Mm -hmm.